So today I'm going to share a BSD when to do and when not to do. And uh, if we, uh, there are variable spectra, this is an asymptomatic child having uh, restricted BSD and this is very much symptomatic child due to large BSD with severe pH. And this is the poor fellow of uh, developing Eisenmenger and it is 22 years. So we found when to close. If there is left to right shunt and significant, we have to close. But if no significant shunt, then we have to consider if there is history of infective endocarditis or progressive aortic regurgitation, then we should close. And if developed the pulmonary vascular obstructive disease, we send to pulmonary hypertension clinic and treat accordingly. So we know not now when to close and how to close. Should we go for surgery or device closure? And these are the recommendation from the guideline that uh, for the transcatheter closure, we should uh, close the surgical residual VSD and not accessible by the surgeons. And if there is a centrally placed muscular VSD or perimembranous VSD, we should close. But there are some special uh, scenario that we sometimes have to consider, but this is not by followed by the beginner. And uh, the Indian guideline, they told that if the weight is more than 8 kg and for muscular VSD, 5 kg, and the perimembranous VSD, if it is 4 millimeter away from the aortic valve, and these are the contraindication if develop the pulmonary vascular disease, if there is conduction anomaly, if any progressive aortic regurgitation, or any other associated lesion that needs surgery, or inlet or subpulmonic VSD, we should not close. And ECHO is the prime uh, investigation we have to evaluate. Should we wait? Should we close? And which modalities should we prefer? And these are the approach uh, that we see the number of the VSD, size of the VSD, and uh, the uh, surrounding morphology, and how much it is distant from the aortic valve, and what is the condition of the tricuspid valve and the tricuspid regurgitation, and we take and, decision. Uh, and these are the classification uh, given by the Anil Kumar sir and uh, Kothandam Shiva Kumar sir, where we get a uh, four classification and we choose the Again, device. It is of, uh, our, concomitant uh, 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 other uh, 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 means so our uh, structure. We have closed 139 case with different devices. And this is the diagrammatic presentation when there is aortic room uh, short, we take the asymmetric device, but not routinely done now. And when there is a good uh, rim uh, and uh, aneurysmal tissue, we use both single or double disc device. And when there is aortic rim present, we take the single disc device. And when there is the pouch and septal aneurysmal tissue, we can use both single disc or double disc device. So what is the modality? Should we approach retrograde or anti-grade? In retrograde, always we use double disc device. And in anti-grade, both double and single device can be used. In retrograde, I am comfortable with this. And uh, it is the most uh, uh, all intervention like this because it is uh, time consuming and uh, less complicated. And uh, But we have to consider the age, weight of the baby and the morphology of the structure. In a retrograde fashion, we take the delivery sheet through the outer to LV and cross the VSD and uh, close the device. And this is our experience in a 16 years. So we close by retrograde approach who have both ASD and VSD. And we uh, cross the VSD and uh, we deploy the both ASD and VSD device. And this is another where the size is uh, more than six millimeter, usually less than six millimeter, we take ADO2 and more than uh, six millimeter, we take muscular device, double disc or ADO1 device. Here in this case, we use the uh, retrograde approach with muscular device eight size. And next to that anti-grade approach, where we take the delivery sheet through the femoral vein and we cross the BSD from RV side and deploy the device from LV side. Here, few methods are used. One, arteriovenous loop formation, another directly from the right ventricle to left ventricle, where we can take from IVC side or SVC side. So this is a, one of the case to year eight month where we are following this case for in um, small VSD, but unfortunately develop infective endocarditis. And in this case, we have the very tissue around the VSD and small VSD. So this is the VSD morphology. And here we choose the artery venous loop with a snare. Uh, we make artery venous loop. And next to that, we take a double device and we close with the uh, ADO2 devices. And uh, nine years, uh, uh, this is another approach of anti-grade where we have taken the daily, uh, delivery sheet through the IVC approach. We cross the VSD from RV to LV and uh, we 
close with Conor MFOH by six MM device. Before deployment, obviously we check the uh, shape of the device the size of the, uh, the placement of the device, the residual, and also the distance from the aortic valve. And uh, next to the fluoro, echo is very important. Before deploying and after deploying, we follow up with the device. So we check is the device is well set up, is good, uh, uh, there is no residual flow away from the aortic valve and no aortic regurgitation. Or also check the tricuspid valve, there is no progressive tricuspid regurgitation when we confirm we just deploy the device and the follow-up uh, echo uh, also like that way. This is another adult case, 15 year, who developed ventricular septal rupture followed by posterior MI and we close these uh, through SBC to RV approach, anti-grade approach and uh, we done at uh, uh, SBC approach and we cross the VSD and we deploy with 24 by 10 PI muscular device And uh, this is our experience. We total uh, uh, with 139 case, mostly perimembranous VSD, and uh, both anterograde and retrograde we have uh, used, but retrograde mostly, and ADO2 is mostly done. And we close both isolated or in combination with ASD or PDA. And our minimum age is one year, eight months, and the maximum age 52. So complication is uh, residual flow is there 2.3 percent, and uh, uh, aortic regurgitation 1.16 percent. Embolization in one case and complete heart block in two cases, which surgically then retrieve the device. So take home messages, closure of VSD should be done in right time. Closure should not be done while pulmonary vascular obstructive disease develop. Selection of treatment must be judicial and uh, uh, operators should be familiar with retrieval technique and all necessary equipment for retrieval should be available and surgical backup is also considered essential. Thank you all. Thank you, Dr. Naharuma, for your nice demonstration.